Alrighty, so now for the last video of this Let's Play. These are the unlockables. Yeah, so I'm just showing this because all those red ones are um, completed save files. So, yep. I had to play through the game a second time to get the Otacon ending, so we get all the unlockables. Hell yes! Oh wait, I left this in for an intro, right. Okay, so you just play all that stuff, you know, get that stuff done with. Okay, so, depending on which ending you got, you got one of two different items. For Meryl's ending, you get the bandana, which gives you infinite um, ammo, and if you get Otacon's ending, then he gives you the stealth camo, which you see you receive both at the end of those parts. So, stealth camo, as long as you don't touch a guard, they usually don't recognize your presence. Which is nice, yeah. And, right, I need a gun to actually show off the ammo. So now let's get the M9 and run over. Just put on the bandana. Bandana doesn't do anything physic like new physical appearance, so don't have to worry about that. Oh, that knocked him out. Whatever, let's just keep shooting him. Uh, your magazine, like, empties, but you don't lose any ammo count. So you still have to reload eventually, but you have all your ammo, which I guess makes sense. And that's anything on that side, um, the right-hand side, the weapons, that, like grenades. I can't think of anything else that you would have, but yeah. Oh yeah, you can also hold up people while invisible. Your gun's still visible, but I don't think they care about that. Okay. But you can't... You obviously can't, um... What's it called? You can't get their dog tag if they can't see ya. So. Okay, only one more guard to deal with after this. Uh, apparently half the video is spent just... Oh, not even... It's a little less than half of the video is spent here. So, whatever. I should probably turn down that volume. And as you know, that's just Campbell, you know, saying, Oh, here you go. Uh, you should hide somewhere, but we don't need that. We have stealth camo. Okay, so now I guess I'm just going to choke this guy out. Because why not? I'm invisible, they can't do much. I could just get in the elevator, but what's the fun in that? And the stealth camo doesn't affect anything in uh, cutscenes. You lose the stealth camo in cutscenes, as you'll see now. One of the other special things about beating, uh, getting both endings is uh, you do get a cosmetic change to Snake himself. And uh, yeah, as you can probably tell from now, it is a tuxedo. And now we truly are, <laughs> we truly are a spy, and we'll get a nice view of it when we get that title sequence. There we go, that's an, eh, we could get better. Oh, slow pan upwards, there we go. There's just some really square turrets right there for that, um, well, missile holders, I don't know what to call them. Whatever, there we go, tuxedo, bam! Yep. You get all the cosmetic changes from the actual, uh, for beating the game twice with two, um, getting both endings. So, uh, the other of the three cosmetic changes is here. Uh, well, you can first view it in this cutscene, so I guess that's why I'm using it. And you can probably guess right now who it is. Oh, uh, yep, there goes the sand. Ew. Watch! I love how long it takes for that hand to actually explode with blood. And how little blood comes out. Anyway, once he turns not invisible. Yeah, just I could have cut out more of this cutscene, but whatever. Uh, this video is already short enough as it is, so we might as well just leave it in. Here we go. Now, damn it! Just turn not 
invisible. Let's go, Cyborg Ninja. And it's red now. I'm not exactly sure why. Well, that was fun. I could probably cut it here, but what's the fun in that? We'll, we'll just let this cutscene keep going. Can't you even die right? Nope. Oh, and more views of Snake and Tuxedo, so I guess we all win in the end. Who are you? Yes. Any moment now. Whatever, okay. I like you. I have no name. Yes. I guess I'm just trying to get it there. There's a good view. I could have just shown that, but uh, what's the fun in that? I gotta, I just gotta extend this as far as possible. Yep. Anyway, nice transition. And the third cosmetic change is uh, Meryl's wearing the sneaking suit. That's that's really it. And well. Um, you s and the other thing is, you start off um, with the digital camera instead of having to collect it from that room, like at the end of the game. Well, not at the end, like halfway through. So really, um, but that's only after you beat one game. And okay, so uh, here's what happens when uh, Meryl kills you from slapping you. And I, I felt like this was a good way to end the entire LP, was by getting killed. So... This was fun to do, and, well, I'll see you with whatever the next one is. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.